Hey, I'm Gina. I'm a dental hygienist. And I'm Christina. I'm also a dental hygienist. And today we're here to talk about digital intraoral scanners. And specifically, we'd like to talk about the iTero scanner because that is the one that we have both been using and we are familiar with. Well, I'm not that familiar with it. We just got one a few months ago and I'm actually really, really excited to learn more about it. And she... have been I've been using it for years. She's the expert. So she's going to show us how we as hygienists or as dental assistants can use it for patient education. Yes. So in our office, our doctor has really enjoyed it because he doesn't have to take goopy impressions anymore, but it turns out that we can actually use the iTero for lots of different things. Yes. What are some of the things that we could use it for? In our office, we use it a lot for patient education. We use it um, to show patients about their occlusion. We use it to show um, specific areas of decay, broken fillings, things like that. And then, of course, um, we use it for Invisalign. So whether it's when we're trying to talk about occlusion, whether we're going to do a night guard or fix the bite with Invisalign, um, the scanner is a very, very useful tool. And do you have to use Invisalign? You can because send it to several different labs. Exactly. So yes. in our office, we don't do Invisalign yet, but we do work with some ortho labs. We do smaller cases, and that is actually, the iTero can be a great tool for that too. So Absolutely. let's get going. If you haven't seen Dietero in action yet, you're in for a treat because we're about to take a real-time scan on Gina and we will then show you what Dietero can do. I'm excited! Yes! <laughs> okay, here we have it. This tells you the order in which to go. Um, so the idea is you always want to put this, place the scanner parallel to the occlusal plane of the teeth. So I will start scanning. I always start on the bottom left and in a very smooth motion, I just slide all the way across the, across the occlusion and then I slide into the linguals and go all the way around. There's a tiny spot I missed there and then on, slide it onto the buckles on the left and go all the way around. And you always want to scan two millimeters of the gum line. And then go on the bottom right, all the way on the buckles, slide it through, and that is our bottom scan. And when you look at it, there's a blue mark right here. So that means that spot is not perfect. So I will go back and fix that and that's it. So that's our bottom scan and then we go to the top. tilting the scanner kind of back right and left if I need to and if anything is bubbly I would have my patient swallow so I'd say please go ahead and swallow and so it looks like I got everything except for a bit of the um, incisal edges there so I'll go right back when I stopped ideally you do not turn the wand off until you're done with a with the whole arch but if you do it will know exactly where you're at so as long as it's better the best is to start back on an occlusal surface that's the one it recognizes best so there you go and then the very last thing we need we need to do is check the bite and the way to do that go ahead and open and i slide this in go ahead and close bite down on your back teeth and then I do a zigzag motion up and down. And there we have it. So, and you always want to start canine to the first molar. If you go ahead of the canine, then the scan gets confused. Go ahead and close, good. 
So I'm starting at the canine and just let, there we go. So that is our scan and it's giving me a timer. It took me three minutes and 53 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that seems way long. Okay, I usually do this in about two and a half, uh, but maybe the talking. And I love to do this in the very beginning of the hygiene appointment because as you can tell, it takes a while to um, analyze. And so generally, I seat the patient back, I take my scan, I press that and I set it to the side and I start my hygiene appointment. And then once I am pretty much done with everything hygiene wise, I go back, seat the patient up and we talk about the scan. Awesome. How was that comfort wise? Really good. Good, okay, nothing, yeah. So light touch as with everything in hygiene, um, you don't want to press on the teeth, you don't want to press on the cheeks, um, but it tends to be a very comfortable experience for patients. Dietero creates a digital model of the teeth that we can then use for patient education. One of my favorite tools is the occlusal gram, and this is basically a heat map of the teeth, and it shows us where the bite is heavier. So on Gina's model over here, you can see these couple of red dots and it's great because this is a great view for the patient, very self-explanatory. Everybody knows red is bad. And once you take that off, you can see the wear facets that are on the teeth. And then from here, we can, once the patient understands the problem, we can explain treatments such as occlusal guards or aligning the teeth with orthodontics. So another really, really cool thing that we can do with iTero that we can use as a tool for our patients is to show them the real-time video of their mouth. So here I have a really great amalgam filling probably needs to be replaced. It's kind of getting some cracks, but guess what? It's 20 years old, so still hanging on. But yeah, really, really awesome way to show patients what we see, and it basically doubles as an intraoral camera as well. We can also take a screenshot of what we see, have it stored in the cloud, and also send it to the patient as well if needed. So we found the scanner to be a very valuable tool in our office. Patients love it because it's comfortable. No more goopy impressions. <laughs> <laughs> and they also love it because they can really see things. They can see their teeth. And we love it because it saves us time. Yes. So do you use one in your office? Do you have an iTero? Do you have a different intraoral digital scanner? Let us know in the comments how you like it and what you've learned. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching Burst TV. Are you ready? You're not doing anything weird with no. your with your mouth? No. You look good. <laughs> and we're here today to talk to you about digital intraoral scanners. We'll be talking specifically about the Itero scanner. <laughs>